Hello everyone, this is Sai Krishna in Love with Marketing. Today we are going to learn about how to design a value proposition. The very first thing that we are going to look into is about the customer dimension and then we will look into our internal dimension that is about our products and services. The first dimension called customer dimension, the first step that we need to do is that list down all the customer profiles, be it end user, be it decision maker, be it manager, or be it uh, you know who allocate funds to that, be it who is going to introduce your product into the uh, into the buying committee. There will be lo a lot of you know customer profiles involved in in your customer journey, isn't it? So list down all those customer profiles. Once you have all the customer profiles, for each of these customer profiles, list down their jobs their pains and the gains that they are expecting. Jobs as in what is the kind of imperative task that they are looking at by using your product or your service. The list of jobs which can also be called as points of parity. That's something that that you know every of uh, even your competitors would be having those uh, functionalities but these are uh, kind of imperative functionalities or the job tasks that have to be done. When it comes to pains, what are the what are their pains? You know, when I said for each and every customer profile, there will be a different set of pain points, or be it a challenges. For user, it could be about the way it is used. For manager, the way it is administrated, or the way uh, analytics have been uh, are being reported. Or when it comes to uh, you know the CEO, the way you know it is being able, the product is being able to bring reports to the table such that he will be able to quantify the worth or the value of the product or the service. And similarly, gains. What are the expected gains like you know desires, uh, you know something that might not be some list of uh, uh, features or something that they would be looking at forward uh, though they are something like unaddressed features in the market. And once you have listed all these uh, jobs, pains and gains, then you will have to score these jobs, pains and gains in terms of what is the most important job. What is the least important job? What is the most uh, terrific pain? What is the least pain? What is the most expected gain? What is the least expected gain? So you will have to score them or prioritize them. And then by this step, you will have all the list of customer uh, you know, pain points, jobs and also gains along with their importance. And then once we are done with the customer dimension, then we will go to our product and service dimension. List on all the products and services that you have. And then for each and product or service, write down what are the functionalities or the features that take away the pain of your customer. And also describe how they are going to do that. You will have to write down all the list of the pain relievers. Once you are done with this, the second thing that you will have to do is that you will have to list on all the gain creators. How does your product or service create gain to your customer? List on all of the gain creators. Once you have the pain relievers and gain creators, all you have to do is that score them. Once you score them, you will know what are the most important pain relieving points and the, what are the most important gain creating points so that you will have a, prior, a hierarchy in terms of the importance of the features or the benefits that you would be looking at. And once you have the customer dimension all about the pain points, challenges, jobs, gains and then on your service dimension you have your pain relievers or gain creators all you have to do is that match them together. What are the pains that your customers have and what are the pain relievers that your products do if they mass together that's where the sweet spot is that's where the value proposition how to be built on and from where your product gain creators if they can match with the, the gain expected from the customer that's where the match happens that's where the value proposition can be founded 
This is how at a very outline level, at a very basic level, value proposition is designed. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to design value proposition for your product or services. Indeed, your value proposition is something that has to be enhanced regularly, not just one time effort because the customer gains or customer pains, they keep on updating, they keep on changing and even your product services or product or services features or benefits or the functionalities or whatever gains that they are providing, they keep on updating. So those two have to be matched together and that's how value proposition over a period of time will be enhanced.